Okay. So today, Phoenix say posted something on Boy Wisdom, a graphic of various religious symbols and the symbol for love. And I said, "What? What is the wisdom in this? Boy, wisdom is for wisdom." And I didn't hear as she had any wisdom there. It was like we're worshiping love, and this is the symbol of love. And I said, "Symbol worship is not wise. Lots of evil has been done through through symbol worship. Take the Pledge of Allegiance, for example." I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Well, what the heck? That's a symbol. The flag is a symbol. And even if you were pledging allegiance to the United States, that would be wrong. Because the United States does a lot of evil. Why are you pledging allegiance to evil? But you're not even doing that. You're pledging allegiance to a symbol of evil. A symbol of a nation, a country that is doing lots of evil in the world. That's the truth. Truthfulness is a virtue. Truthfulness is wisdom, speaking the truth. But pledging allegiance to an evil entity, to an entity that is destroying unnecessarily many things, including human lives, and you're going to pledge allegiance to this entity? to this thing in our mind, this nation? What are you doing? It doesn't make any sense. And so I said to her, I said, you know, I wish everyone would write their own Pledge of Allegiance. What do you want to pledge allegiance to? And I told her, I said, I would pledge allegiance to truthfulness and honesty and to virtue. But pledging allegiance to symbols? No. No, that's not right. Symbols are abstractions of reality. They're not the real thing. Krishnamurti said the word is not the thing, and you could say the same about the symbol. Words are symbols. The symbol is not the thing that it points to, to the thing that it represents. It's foolishness to worship symbols, to raise them up as more important than the actual thing they represent. And I think it's probably foolish to worship anything. I think worshiping is a, an endeavor in ignorance. If you're worshiping one thing, you're ignoring something else. So, you're basically worshiping your ignorance. Think about it. If you had to play, if you had to write a pledge of allegiance that you would say every day, like students in schools throughout the United States say every day, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, blah, blah, blah. If you had to say it every day, what would you want to say? What would you pledge allegiance to? What's worthy of your allegiance? And no symbols, please. We don't need symbols. We need real things, things that can be experienced. You don't experience a symbol. It's an abstraction in your mind. You can experience love. You can experience kindness. You can experience truthfulness. Yeah, you can experience the truth. You can experience forgiveness. You can experience lots of things that are virtues. But you can't experience a symbol and yet people put symbols on their bodies and they even tattoo symbols on their bodies and they worship symbols. They hold them up as something great. And it seems like foolishness to me. Why would you do that? Why would you worship a symbol? A word is a symbol, a picture is a symbol, an idea can be a symbol.
Money is an idea. Do you worship money? Do you hold it up and say, I pledge allegiance to money? Is that what your pledge of allegiance would be? Money represents power to control others. Right? If you have the money, you get to say what gets done. You're in charge. You're in control. That's the delusion. So really, money is a, an abstraction which represents a delusion. You're living in your head. You're living in imagination. You're living in a false impression of reality, of the truth. Why would you pledge allegiance to money? And yet many people do. They make it the focus of their existence. They're very dedicated to money. They're money motivated. You hear it? We pledge allegiance to money, I think. That's what we're pledging allegiance to when we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America because the United States of America is all about money. It's based on the idea of money. Money will set you free. That's the idea of the United States of America. You make money and you become free. Other people will be your slaves. You will be the master. You will dominate. You will control. <laughs> Isn't that the idea of money? To control other people? Why would you want it if you didn't get to control other people? And how is it that you get to control other people? Well, the government oppresses them so that you can control them. But you have to play the government game, the government money game. And you'll always be under the gun yourself. So you'll never be free. You'll always be a slave to money, even as you pursue the status of master over others. It's a game. It's a master-slave game. If you had to write your own Pledge of Allegiance, what would you pledge allegiance to? It's a good exercise. And I'm just thinking, I wonder if we could write a Pledge of Allegiance that included all 50 virtues, or at least as many as we can get in there, in a meaningful sentence or paragraph. That would be fun. Think about it. Virtue.nodes.org. That's where you'll find the virtues.